On this video, we'll be checking out Microsoft's latest wireless headset, and we're gonna go ahead and compare it against my personal favorite true wireless headset that's available on the market is the Steel Series Arc X9. These ones were the ones I previously reviewed, and I claim to be the best gaming headset available on the market since it also has built in Bluetooth, which means you can connect it to your computer, you connect it with the appropriate adapter to your Nintendo Switch or a PS5. If you're curious to know how that video turned out, you can go ahead and watch the video over here or click on the link in the description if I remember to put it on. But very recently, Microsoft released their version of the wireless headset. This is possibly made to compete against what, what Sony is doing with the PlayStation 5 as they have a true wireless gaming headset available on the market. And I guess this is Microsoft's answer to be competitive. Although both headsets are not available or compatible to be used on, on vice versa consoles. Needless to say, we're gonna go ahead and put these two side by side and see what each of them have to offer. So the Microsoft wireless headset starts at, I wanna say a very reasonable price. It starts at $99 and has all the important features that you expect a modern a headset to be equipped with. So the first thing I notice about these headsets is it is designed uniquely. Like the design itself is really unique. As a fine example, these knobs on the side, they may look like they don't do anything, but they're actually fully rotatable. One side of the ear allows you to adjust the overall volume and the other one allows you to mix the game chat audio. The little green stubby thing right here, that is basically the power on and off. And the microphone, as you see, is really flexible and it's not too long. So when it's not in use, you can literally just wrap it around like so. There is a mute button for the microphone that's located down here and has a USB-C port that allows you to charge this thing, which can give you up to 15 hours. As the headset itself is fully adjustable, but it is made out of a hard plastic material, which concerns me longevity wise. But if you treat these with care, it's very likely they won't crack or break anytime soon. The ear cuffs are made out of like a pleather like material and the label right and left is clearly labeled as you can see. Other than that, the aspect look of these things are minimum and fairly compact. Now moving along to the Steel Series. The Steel Series also has knobs right here to adjust the party and game chat mixer as well as the overall volume level. You do have a mute button right here if you want to quickly mute it. And there's two buttons down here, one to quickly turn on Bluetooth mode. And then of course underneath is the power button. Unfortunately, this does plug and charge with a micro USB cable, no USB-C, which is a darn shame because during this era when this was released, USB-C did exist on some other headsets. But unlike the Xbox Microsoft One, this one actually does have an aux cable, which means you could hardwire it with an aux cable. This is one of the methods that I was able to use to have this be compatible on my PlayStation 5. The ear cuffs are extremely breathable. I personally prefer the ear cuffs on the Steel Series first than the pleather like leather that's found on the Microsoft wireless headset as these will definitely handle wear and tear a lot better. And my concern with the Microsoft one is I'm pretty sure these will begin peeling off after the first few years. These are now over a year old and they still look brand new. Now the top strap, this part is actually made of some type of a flexible aluminum, but this part right above here is actually fully flexible. And in addition to that, this strap actually is a strap so you can readjust it to your preference. After gaming with both of these headsets, I still think the Steel Series are more comfortable, but a very important thing to definitely consider is that the Steel Series is literally double the cost of the Microsoft one. Now, in terms of features, the Steel Series has a retractable microphone, which also will illuminate red when the microphone is in mute. But the cool thing about these, since these do support Bluetooth, you could literally store away the microphone and literally rock these just like an ordinary Bluetooth headset. So you can listen to music when you're on the go. The Microsoft One also supports Bluetooth connectivity to be connected to your smartphone. Just, I still feel these are much more tighter because honestly, after the first hour or so of wearing these, my head just begins to get more physique. Now, a cool thing that I do like about this Microsoft One, however, is that it does support Adobe and the EQ can be fully customizable. Whenever the headset powers on, it makes the Microsoft boot up sound as well as when you shut it off. It also makes a gaming Xbox shut off sound. Now, a cool thing I do like about these Xbox wireless ones is that Microsoft actually markets these to be super lightweight 
And when we put these two on the scale, yes, the Microsoft one is definitely the lightest, but it's only by 50 grams or so. Not a whole lot. That's really that noticeable. Now, both of these, as you see, I wear glasses and both of them are comfortable, even with glasses on. And then, yes, I almost failed to forget that uh, the Microsoft one also has a LED light, which will glow depending if it's on mute or not. Other important things to also know is that the Steel Series is the only one that actually will rotate and actually allows you to place flush on a flat surface or wear them comfortably around your neck if they're not in use like so. Microsoft ones, they don't do that. This part is fixed. But now let's go ahead and talk about the microphone quality that these two headsets can deliver. Here's a sound sample between both of them. You know, I thought this process was gonna be easy to do, but apparently Microsoft oh, well, on the Xbox, there's no way I could record an audio clip and listen to it. So we're using Bluetooth connected to a smartphone. So basically this is the audio quality that you expect to hear when speaking with the new Microsoft Xbox wireless headset. My personal experience when playing with a couple of games on Xbox, Party Chat and all that good stuff, nobody ever has ever complained about not being able to hear me and background noise also isn't an issue whatsoever. All right, comparing apples to apples, same setup, the SteelSeries Arc 9 is paired to my smartphone and we are using the voice memo application and basically this is how my voice sounds like with its internal microphone. Again, past experience after playing numerous of hours online gaming with friends and such, game chat, party chat, everybody has been able to hear me clearly and background noise, it's me snapping my fingers, never really was an issue. All in all, both are good, but comment down below which one do you think is clear for you so really the mic quality on both of them in my personal opinion it's doable they're both great so i can't really decide which one i would prefer as both of them were able to be clear and did a great job in eliminating the background noise and then when both of these headsets are connected with bluetooth you can pair them to your smartphone like i previously mentioned now overall game play audio here's my live reaction and i'll give you my conclusion at the end so initial thoughts I mean, literally, the pairing process is seamless. It's exactly the same like how you pair an Xbox controller. Even it says assigned headset on the display. The Steel Series also does the exact same thing, and the setup procedure is also very similar. Just with the wireless headset by Microsoft, these actually have support for Microsoft future updates. So maybe in the near future, they may improve certain things here and there. So just like the Xbox controller, the headset itself also receives new updates. Let's go ahead and adjust the audio. I'm gonna go ahead and play Forza Horizon, way to really like test out the audio because the rumble from the engine, the road noise, the sound of the environment, as well as the music that's playing in the background is a great way to really experience the best of the best in terms of its overall audio quality. Okay, it, I mean, it's not, it gets loud, but it's not as good as compared to like higher brands like Sony's or Bose. But these are definitely doable. The bass is pretty high up there. Ooh, so much destruction. And of course you got Adobe support on this headset as well. But overall, the bass, and I'm also playing sound through my TV, so I'm not able to hear that, which is great. I cannot play this thing with max audio though. I have to keep it on medium. But it's good to the most part. Again, I'm playing audio with, through the TV as well and I don't hear it. And the microphone is out of plain sight, which is nice. Ooh, that nice flame though. <laughs> I'm just causing chaos at this point, but I'm hearing everything. And there's also is, if you go into Xbox accessory, here you can actually tone, tune, fine tune a couple of things. So here it is, configuration. So right now we have the EQ set to game. Let's start with boost real quick. Ooh, boost at four. Even though, honestly, on default, it was already quite high, but you also have the ability to adjust the microphone, which is pretty cool as well. Back to Forza. Let's try it with max boost. Oh, that's too loud. Ah! Oh, max audio. It has plenty of bass, but it's all personal preference. Boost at four plus? No, that's not for me. Oh no! Honestly, the audio quality isn't gonna be disappointing. You're gonna love these. But in terms of sound quality, they sound like $100 priced headphones, which is good. It's not a bad thing for the amount of money you're paying for these. Is it bad that the headset sounds a lot better than the TV speakers? Switching over to the Steel Series Again, it says assigned headset, so we're golden. Let me change the EQ modes, which these actually allow you to have four EQ modes on this headset, 
but if you go on your desktop and download the appropriate software, you can find tweak it. It's very similar to like the Xbox. It's just instead of doing it on the Xbox, you do it on your PC. Yeah, Steel Series has a nice balance as well. Everything sounds good. I think this one sounds more better for gaming in my personal opinion because it's not overdoing it in terms of blasting it with a bunch of bass and such. But again, that was our fault because we, we picked that preference for our EQ. So right now we have it on max audio and oh my God, I'm gonna go death after this. I'm no audiophile, but these sound amazing as well. I don't know how to describe sound other than I could hear everything just fine. I have no complaints whatsoever. You gotta pardon my driving skills. I'm just trying to cause as much mayhem as possible to create different sounds and such. Passing vehicles sound smooth. I can hear them as I pass by them. Tire squeals sounds really great. Yeah, the sound of me passing other vehicles sound great. They still have the 360 immersion, just like the Xbox wireless headset. But these are definitely more comfort comfortable in my opinion to wear. Because the Microsoft one just applies too much pressure around my ears, which will very likely give me ear physique a lot quicker. I still prefer the Steel Series, but but again, the Art 9 is $200, and sound quality wise, it sounds like it's a $200 pair of headphones, like the Skull Candies or something like that, along that ballpark. So overall, in terms of best overall value, the Microsoft wireless headset isn't a bad deal. This will definitely get the job done, and I like the fact that it's below $100.99, just a cent short from being $100, bucks, but offers all the important features that even these very expensive ones for double the cost, these seem to be more durable in my opinion and more comfortable and friendly for all users. However, if you're an adult or you just generally take care of your devices, I can definitely see these lasting and they offer all the important things that you need for a modern gaming headset. Well, there you guys have it. That is the quick comparison against the Steel Series against the Microsoft wireless headset. If you got some good useful information out of this video, greatly appreciate it. If you could actually leave this video a like, not only that, get subscribed because I got more tech videos very similar to this coming out in the near future. And links to these products, of course, are all a click away in the description. So they're very easy to find. Again, if you're wondering how this review went, you can go ahead and watch it over here as I cover everything about that Steel Series in its own separate video. And then this video over there, that's just a video that YouTube is recommending specifically for you. Thanks so much for watching. Take care and I'll catch you all in the next one. See ya.